Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how to build a double door base entrance. Well, it'll be a good place to hide all your treasure and everything. So, let's get into it. If you want to, you can make the outside entrance look a little more natural, but I'm just doing this for decoration right now, but... You can make it look natural if you'd like. Like a bigger lava pool. But the only problem with that is you have to know exactly where to land your jump. I recommend going down like that. Place your signs. And go ahead and place the lava. Stop that and then place your signs again. Just like that, like you did on the top row. Okay, and then crouch, place another sign, and go ahead and fill this up with water. Oh no, oops. Okay, there we go, problem solved. Like so I'm swimming, swim through there. We want all source blocks to make it look as natural as we can get it. Okay, just like that. And let's test it out. Good. And then when you get it pretty natural looking, just go ahead and dig down. That here should do. Go ahead and start layering it. You don't have to do this. I, I like to just for decoration, but you do not have to. Just like that right there. And then now we will do the piston doors. So get rid of your water and lava it. And you do not need your signs anymore. Keep smooth quartz and crying obsidian. And go ahead and grab your redstone. Get redstone dust and redstone lamp. And then grab a sticky pistons. Need four. And then a lever. Ahead and place your two pistons right there. Line back two right here. Place two more. I'm gonna go ahead and place the block I'm going to be using for my door. Go ahead and mine back. about here go ahead and put a temporary light right here 
I'll go ahead and place your lamp. Put redstone on it. Wire your redstone. Oh, oops. Did not mean to break that. Okay, just be careful that you do not break your redstone. So I'm going to go ahead and do like that and do the same thing on this side. Some lighting, so I'm gonna go ahead and give us some and head mine right down here and just connect up with your other redstone, which should be right there. And once you're connected, just go ahead and wire it all, and you don't need any of these limbs anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy these. And then I'm going to grab my crying obsidian block off that. Get the same thing on this side. That This part's just decoration. You don't have to do this, but I do it just for decoration. And then I'm also going to go ahead and cover up this with crying obsidian. And this part with quartz. And if you want it to be symmetrical, you can make a 3x3 three three door, but it's all up to you. And just come out right here and place a lever. And that should close. And you want to keep it in that state. But for now, we need a trap door. Any type. Birch place right there and it should open the door and then we do the same thing right here so dig down line it up right there um, stone and just place me a lever right there make sure it closes Place me a trap door. And here could be your base or even your treasure, but this would be the treasure because that's security purposes. I mean, would you really keep your base under? Well, yeah, you would if you had treasure, but I don't know. It's up to you. Whatever you want it to be, it can be that. Okay, and then in here I'm going to place two quartz and just do a random floor design. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to do like some cross, I don't know, some circle. That'll do, and you can replace the ceiling if you'd like. I'm not going to for time's sake, but go ahead and grab your loot, so diamond, of course. Like, there we go. And then you want. I'm gonna use uh, Ender Chests. Because they're just better, but yeah. Ender Chests, and I need a armor stand. That should do. Uh, I 
wish there was a way I could put that in the middle. Actually, no, never mind. There it is, but I'm just gonna do two of them separate. So I want them in that pose. Go ahead and put armor on one of them. And go ahead and toss out my diamond armor. And then when you place diamonds in one chest, it will copy over into another. So, no need to repeat all that. And then I'm going to get some netherite. Armor. Sword. And some blocks. And I also need a diamond sword. Put my diamond sword right there. Netherite there. Head in place that in there, along with some backup armor and swords. And that should copy over. So now I'll go ahead and grab more diamond armor. Put in here. And it should copy over. Yep. Go ahead and clear my inventory and just get a couple diamond blocks. And some netherite blocks. I cannot type today. Go ahead and get a couple sacks of netherite blocks and fill the chests. You don't have to fill them all the way, just, you know, keep it like that. And that is the best ideas I could come up with. So, for the person that requested this, I'm sorry if it's really not what you wanted. If it's not, let me know in the comments down below, and I can try to come up with something a little better. But, for now, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye.